Mike Carr, the librarian and Mrs. Montgomery. The librarian and Mrs. Montgomery, Mike Carr. I was spellbound as I watched the sheriff who had just been shot slide back, open that heavy metal door, stagger forward a couple of steps, look deep into the camera and say, I before E except after C. Contest chair, fellow Toastmasters, I was in the sixth grade in Mrs. Montgomery's class watching an educational video where a sheriff was teaching us about writing while a bad guy named Bad English was shooting at him. It was on a film projector because we were technology challenged in my school. And as I watched that film, all of a sudden something started looking strange. The film slowed down. And when it picked back up, it made a sound like and it looked like it was blinking. Then the sheriff was talking to us from the side of the screen. The blinking started again with a loud noise. Everything went blank. I ran to the front and I turned off the projector. I opened it up. Something smelled like it was burning. Mrs. Montgomery, I said, can I try to fix this? After school, she said. An hour after the final bell rang, I had disassembled the entire projector all over the floor. I was beginning to put it back together when the librarian came strolling through. What are you doing? She almost screamed at me. Who told you you could do this? I did, said Mrs. Montgomery. The librarian, though, zeroed in on me. This is school property, and it better work when you get it all back together again. If it doesn't work, your parents are going to have to pay for that. Now, my parents did not have a lot of money. If I went home and told them they had to replace a projector at school, I would have been better off in the hands of that bad guy, bad English. And so, with focused energy, I started putting the projector back together. After two hours, it was whole. And Mrs. Montgomery said, let's try it. I reached up and I flipped the on switch and there out in front of us projected onto the screen in all of its glory was nothing, nothing. The projector was dead. Mrs. Montgomery put her arm around me and she said, it's okay that you took the risk to try to fix it. The victory is not in the result. The victory is in the try. But I still had to tell my parents. When I got home, I snuck in and I thought, if I just hide in my closet, they'll forget I exist. But then I heard from the kitchen, Mike, come in. I walked in and I said, Mom, Dad, there's something I have to tell you. I love you. <laughs> And I am scared of sheriffs. I don't know. I ran to my room. I choked. I couldn't think of anything to say. I thought I'll tell them tomorrow. I crawled on my bed and I looked up at the ceiling and I thought, how do I get to Norway? Now, I know there are people from Norway in the audience. And can I just tell you, I don't know why Norway was my only safe haven on this planet at that point. Maybe I thought that Norway had made a deal with the UN that they would not let crazy librarians come into their country. But at that night, I drifted off to a very restless sleep, dreaming of swimming to Norway. I was awakened with a jolt when my alarm went off the next morning. As I got ready for the day, I was sick to my stomach. When I got to school, I knew my time was up. I slunk to the library to find Mrs. Landon sitting there reading her newspaper. She was drinking out of this coffee mug. That's concerning. I approached her and I told her the final fate of her projector. She slowly started looking up at me. Her lips started curling. Then she leaned forward and said, fine. What, 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 what just happened? I, I'm still alive. I could not believe it. My failure 
had not killed me. And yours will not kill you. What was it that Mrs. Montgomery said? The victory is not in the result. The victory is in the try. Ever since then, I have walked through life with a little librarian Landon sitting on this shoulder and a Mrs. Montgomery sitting on this shoulder. When I tried and gave my very first speech, which was a train wreck, Mrs. Landon told me, you should never try that again. But Mrs. Montgomery reminded me that the failure had taught me lessons that could be a springboard to future success. And she was right. But her words ring even more true for you. And let me tell you why I know this. For years, Toastmasters has been the place where leaders are made. You are here in some way to increase your leadership skill. And this world desperately needs leaders who will create fertile soil for innovation to grow. Toastmasters is a great example. When COVID hit this year, they could have said, no, we're just gonna cancel the contest. We'll cancel the convention and we'll pick it up again next year. But instead they decided to try something new, this virtual experience. And yes, there have been glitches, but that's what, inf- that's what innovation is like. Glitches happen. And the lessons that they have learned take us miles beyond those organizations that just canceled. If you want to lead people to fix persistent problems, someday, somewhere, somebody is going to have to try something new. And you as the leader have the opportunity to encourage that effort, that effort that might fail for a chance to find the future. The victory is in the try. Be a Montgomery leader. Encourage risk. Try new things. The victory is not in the result, my friends. The victory is in the try. Contest chair.